Uh, nothing like revisiting your roots after getting some terrible, well, uh, incredibly surprising news. Okay, uh, I still need to build the basement of this place, so. The Beginner's Guide to Homesteading. Expansions. Cellar. Need even more room? Then don't hesitate to dig down and add a spacious cellar to your humble or mighty abode. A lower level for your house will afford you many extra amenities, and a perfect place for several tasks. Aside of an ideal location to store your most valuable possessions, a cellar also gives you space to build an altar to all the divines of Tamriel, a place to brew your own mead and practice your combat and marksman skills on cold days, as well as a place to build a forge to make new and different gear if you so desire. All right, uh, that's just about everything. There are only a couple pieces that I can't make. Um, yeah, jeez, th those updates are not going to stop up in the corner for a long time. Got a bunch of weapon racks. Um, I'm only missing three shrines down here. What blessing do I want? Uh, you know, what? let's do Akatosh. I forget what Akatosh's blessing does, but like, we'll. It's just as good as the others right now. I mean, I'm not doing anything specific. Um, and, I mean, the sad thing about the cellar is that I'm not really going to get much use out of this place. Um, although it is one of the few spots in the, the house where you get a safe. My parents are long dead, but oh, they God. lived wonderful lives. I have no sad stories to tell about them. Yes, Aaron. Perhaps one day I'll visit their resting place. So, uh, oh, right, mead barrels. Go ahead and grab these. I'll sell them off later. Um, yeah, it's possible to get, uh, safes on the upper floor if you use, like, the alchemy tower, I think. I would love to be able to make, uh, a shrine to Talos. I actually have the amulet of Talos. My main problem, however, is the fact that I, um, I just, uh, what is it? I, that's right, the amulet of Talos is tied into, uh, some, some quest in Mark Arth, I believe, if I'm remembering correctly. Anyway, um... I'm also going to make a couple of trophies, because I have what I need. So, we'll start off with a Hag Raven. Not going to be able to fill all the bases here. So, next up, I'm going to make a Slaughterfish. Well, no, you know, let's let's put a Spriggan up here. And a Slaughterfish will go over here. So, I just think that the Spriggan is way cooler to see whenever you enter the room. Man, look at that thing. That is vicious. No wonder it's called a slaughterfish. Alright, so that's pretty much everything that I can put on the bases. Um, I need to... Actually, I need to talk to Lydia, but first... Um, where is she? Lydia? Lydia? You in the kitchen? No? Nope, not here. What about upstairs? Lydia? She's not sleeping in my bed. She's not in the back room. She's not... What the hell? She's nowhere. All right, you know what? Um, I'm gonna go ahead and dump some of these extra building materials that I have. Because there's no point in carrying crap around that I don't need. Hinges, ingots, leather, nails, etc. Um, there we go. I don't think that there's... No, wait, I've got some steel, some straw. Okay, that should be everything. All right, Lydia must be outside. I mean, it is the middle of the day, so. Honored to see you again, my Thane. Oh. Honor to you, my Thane. Good wishes to you as well, Lydia. Uh, but I need to discuss with you improvements that need to be made to the homestead. Certainly. What did you have in mind? I need a carriage with driver. Be certain you hire one immediately. Very good. I'll see about hiring a carriage driver at once. Thank you. Please make haste with this demand. Farewell. Where do you want to go? I need to get to Winterhold. Climb and back, and we'll be off. Oh, we. Oh, man, I should use carriages more often. Get around you know, the map faster. They say knowledge um, is its own reward. All right, so, um, I need to head up to the Arcanium, because I've taken, I've taken my sweet time. Like, I, I went out, I, like, <laughs> one of the, oh, God, Erender. Um, I went out, and I got, uh, I was getting these two doors mixed up. I went out, and I, I grabbed those books, lickety-split, boom, right away. It's just I take my sweet time coming back. Oh, great. Don't tell me he's not here. Oh, uh, yeah, sure enough. 
Losh or whatever his name is. I don't remember his name. The Orc. Ah, great. Alright, he must be, like, down in the Hall of Countenance or something like that. I don't remember. It's either the Hall of Countenance or the Hall of Attainment. Um, you know what's always struck me strange about this place? The fact that there's no music in the in the College of Winterhold. You guys are probably he hearing music because... Well, probably. I know that you guys will be hearing music because... Um, I, uh... I... I layer in music in, in post-production. I, like, I play through this game with no music whatsoever. But I've always found it strange that there's no music in this place normally. Alright, where is this freaking orc? Urug, wake up. Hmm? Sorry to disturb you. It's taken me a while to get back, and I figured you'd want to see the books the minute that I returned. I'm no worse for the wear. Here. Well, well. And you seem to be in one piece. Thank you. I'll look these over, and inform Mirabelle if I find anything relevant. Night of Tears, eh? I remember this one. Well, isn't that interesting? Did you read it yourself? If I recall it correctly, that has some interesting implications. You should mention that to Toldir. And here. I suppose you've earned these. Oh. Thank you, Urog. The reward is greatly appreciated. Since I'm already speaking with you, I might as well ask. Is there any college business I can assist with? Tasks you need completed? Anything to maintain the Arcanium? If you're feeling adventurous, I'm always looking for someone to procure valuable books from some more... dangerous locations. Adventuring is in my blood, Orag. I'll be going out and getting myself in trouble sooner or later. Well, alright. Here. I scribbled down the last place I'd heard about. Check it out, but be careful. And since I'll be putting myself in harm's way to start with, there aren't any particularly special books you want that are out there. Things that are very difficult to find, are there? As a matter of fact, there are. Have you ever heard of Shalador? Immensely powerful mage, back in the first era. Had an understanding of magic few have ever matched. He holed himself up in Labyrinthian, and devoted all his time to research and study. But more than you would imagine possible. Since then, his writings have been scattered all over Skyrim, but are little use to anyone who can't translate them. I'm one of the few who can. I've heard whispers of more of his work having turned up. If you can track it down, it may prove useful to all of us. I'll see what I can do. No guarantees, however, there are more pressing matters upon me. Until we speak again, Orag. Stay well. Until next time. There are few places where one can pursue my type of work without fear of persecution. The more I travel Skyrim, the more I understand that, Finnis. This is one of the few safe havens for practicing magic. Are there many conjurers outside of these walls? I haven't seen many myself. Not within society, no. Many who practice within the School of Conjuration do so on their own, secretly. Thalion is the only one I know who is public about what he does. He was once my teacher here, but left the college years ago. Thalion? I know him. I suppose I shouldn't be too surprised he was once at the college. I seem to recall him saying something along those lines. Why did he leave? He didn't like the Archmage. Hated dealing with him. Hated having to answer to him. Thalion said he hated what this place was becoming, so he just left. Aaron found a note on his desk, and that was it. I understand he settled down in Hjalmarch, and his presence there caused something of a problem. No, oh, you do not know the half of it, Finnis. I've seen him more recently than you have, and, um... There are problems out in Hjalmarch. Many people blame him for the strange goings-on in the swamp. But that's neither here nor there. I've come to speak with you today because I... I'm hitting a bit of a dead end for as far as what I can learn about Conjuration. I seem to be reaching the end of my rope, as it were. Is there anything you can teach me? Insight and the like. You've already learned all I can teach you. Well, if that's the case, what else is there to be discovered of Conjuration magic? Certainly this isn't the end of the road. 
You must be looking into something that you need help with. Something that would benefit the both of us if it were to come to fruition. How quickly you've advanced. Most impressive. There are spells yet to be learned. Powerful spells that can more closely and more permanently bind creatures to your will. But there are risks. There are always risks. You must summon and command an unbound remora. I... Mm. Do what now? These spells are difficult. Even for one as skilled as I. To even begin to inscribe them, I need something very special. A sigil stone from an oblivion gate. I do not have one in my possession. Nor do you, I'm sure. So we require a Daedra to retrieve one for us. You will summon a Dremora, and order it to bring a sigil stone to you. I will then inscribe the spells for you. You so readily tell me what you need. That means you've been sitting at this impasse for a while. Why would you not just simply... acquire the sigil stone on your own? Why only tackle this... task... once I've come to you? Because I have no wish to be harmed. Summoning an unbound Remora is not like other conjuration spells. It will not simply do your bidding. You must first prove you are in control. Here is the spell you need. Go to the top of the Hall of Attainment. I have prepared a place for you there. What a task you have given me. Wish me luck, Finnis. For your sake and mine. Now if you'll excuse me. Oh boy. All right. I don't know that I'm ready for this, but let's hope that it goes all right. Summoning an unbound Dremora. I've never admitted this before. Bad Not time, Erinder. I can't You dare bring me here! You must be punished! Silence, Deidre. You shall do as I command. I serve no mortal! Kinda saw that coming. All right, pal. Oh my God. Die. Oh well. There we go. He went down a lot faster than I expected him to. That went about as as well as I expected it to. Let's refresh this armor spell and let's try it again. Dramora, man. Never give them gifts. Never respect them. Then they have the right to try to cut your head off. You shall submit to me, demon. Never! Another no dance, sense. eh? Oh, crap. He's got an ebony hammer on him. Uh, <laughs> Be careful there. They're nothing whenever you uh, go after them with paralysis poison. All right. Refresh the armor spell again. And let's resummon. Let's hope that he... I hope it works this time. I am not yours to toy with. You shall yield now, or I will banish you again. What say you? I submit. What is your bidding, master? I require a sigil stone from the plain of Merin's Dagon. Bring it to me. Yes, my lord. Summon me again, and I shall have your stone. <sighs> Alright, well, let's just summon one more time. Whole lot easy, a uh, whole lot more difficult than what you had to do. Well... Your sigil stone, Lord Dagon, is less than pleased at its loss. I'm certain he'll live with it. You'll dissipate soon enough. <laughs> um, geez, I mean, I don't know whether or not that was easier or harder to get my hands on. I mean, in Oblivion, the, like, the Oblivion gates are just out there because it's ta it takes place during the Oblivion Crisis. If you didn't know, like, they talk about the Oblivion Crisis ever so seldom in this game. Um, the Elder Scrolls IV, Oblivion, is the Oblivion Crisis and you play as a separate hero there. Um, but, yeah. I don't know whether or not it's easier to jump into an Oblivion Gate to get the Sigil Stone, or... 
I guess it's technically easier to get uh, to deal with a Dremora in the ritual that I just performed. Anyways, Tolf Deer. Tolf Deer. Good to see Skyrim still has such fine people. You give an old man hope. It's always encouraging to see the younger generations embracing education. I only hope to achieve as great of heights as those who have preceded me, Tolf Deer. But there are also the small tasks. There isn't by chance something simple you need done, is there? Well, yes. This is rather embarrassing, but it seems I've misplaced something. I can't find my Alembic. I suppose I could use another one, but... Well, it sounds silly, but mine has sentimental value. If you happen to see it, would you mind bringing it to me? You... You're missing an... A what? My Alembic. I need it for some research and can't seem to find it. I'll see what I can do, Tolf dear. I'll look around the grounds. Um, but on a more serious note, Urag sent me to come see you. Did he now? Does he have information about our wonderful discovery? Uh, yes, he does. He had me retrieve a few books that were taken by an unruly apprentice. One of them was called Night of Tears. I recall you mentioning that particular phrase whenever we entered the dig site previously. Must have something to do with this discovery we've made. Is that the one about something buried beneath Sarthal? Something that men and Nair fought over? I'll have to make a point of rereading it. I don't recall the details. I just can't seem to tear myself away. Whatever this is, its beauty is like nothing I've ever seen before. If you'd allow me to indulge myself for a moment, I thought I might make a few observations. I'm sure you've already noticed the markings. They're quite unlike anything we've seen before. Aliad, Dwemer, Daedric, not even Falmer. None of them are a match. Quite curious indeed. Now, I'm not sure that you're quite as attuned as I am, given my extensive years of experience, but can you feel that? This marvelous object it practically radiates magicka, and yet it's unlike anything I've felt before. Archmage Aran is already hard at work, and hopefully we'll have more information soon. I'm afraid I must no, intrude. I... It is urgent that I speak with your associate immediately. This is most inappropriate. We are involved in serious research here. Yes, I've no doubt of its gravity. This, however, is a matter that cannot wait. Well, I'm quite sure I've never been interrupted like this before. The audacity. I suppose we'll continue this at some later time, when we can avoid interruptions. I need you to come with me immediately. Let's go. I don't understand. What do you want with me? Really? Well, allow me to clarify the situation. I'd like to know why there's someone claiming to be from the Sigic Order here in the College. More importantly, I'd like to know why he's asking for you, specifically. So we're going to go have a little chat with him and find out exactly what it is he wants. Short of your beliefs, Ankano, you're just an advisor here, are you not? I don't take orders from you. Technically, that is true, but I still report to the Old Mary Dominion, and I cannot ignore this situation. Don't worry. You can return to your petty squabbles and meaningless research as soon as this matter is resolved. Causing a lot of trouble. All right, Ancano. Now, you are going to speak to this monk and find out why he is here, and then he will be removed from college grounds. Oh, acting like you own the place. I swear the Thalmor is such haughty, useless pieces of. Holy crap. Ugh, warping around there, Ancano. Feeling all special and amazing? Please do not be alarmed. I mean you no harm. It is good to meet you in person. I... What's happened? Why has everything else stopped? I'd simply like to talk to you. I've given us a chance to speak privately. But I'm afraid I can't do this for long. We must be brief. The situation here at your college is of dire importance, and attempts to contact you, as we have previously, have failed. 
I believe it is due to the very source of our concern. This object, the Eye of Magnus, as your people have taken to calling it. The energy coming from it has prevented us from reaching you with the visions you have already seen. The longer it remains here, the more dangerous the situation becomes. And so I have come here personally to tell you it must be dealt with. If the Eye of Magnus is as dangerous as you say, then why aren't you dealing with it yourself? I mean, you're already here. I'm afraid it's not that simple. You must understand the Sigic Order does not typically intervene directly in events. My presence here will be seen as an affront to some within the Order. As soon as we have finished, I will be leaving your college. I'm all too aware that my arrival has aroused suspicion, especially in Onkano, your Thalmor associate. Huh. Nevertheless, my Order will not act directly. You must take it upon yourself to do so. And what is the problem as you perceive it? As you may have learned, this object, the Eye, is immensely powerful. The world is not ready for it. If it remains here, it will be misused. Indeed, many in the Order believe it has already. Rather, something will happen soon, something that cannot be avoided. What am I to do then? If disaster looms and it cannot be averted. We believe that your efforts should be directed towards dealing with the aftermath, but we cannot predict what that will be. I fear I have already overstepped the bounds of my order, but I will offer this. Seek out the Augur of Dunlane here in your college. His perception may be more coherent than ours. Augur of Dunlane? Who is that? He was once a student here at the college. Now he is... something different. I must inquire. Why should I trust the Sigic Order? I'm already dealing with Ancano. I presume you refer to Ancano's distaste for the Sigic Order. The Thalmor see our order as a threat because we have power, and we will not allow them to control us. I assure you that we mean you no harm. Then where might I find this Augur? I... I am unsure. He is somewhere within the college. Surely one of your colleagues must know his location. I am sorry I cannot provide you with further help. But this conversation requires a great deal of effort on my part. Now, I'm afraid I must leave you. We will continue to watch over you and guide you as best we can. It is within you to succeed. Never forget that. I'm sorry. Well, were you about to what say is the meaning of this? Questionable thing. I'm sorry, I'm afraid I don't understand. Was a horrible don't play coy. I hope you asked to see a specific member of the college. Here he is. Now what is it that you want? There's been a misunderstanding. Clearly I should not be here. I shall simply take my leave. What? What trickery is this? You're not going anywhere until I find out what you're up to. I am not up to anything. I apologize if I have offended you in any way. We will see about this. I'm... I'm not sure what happened. A monk from the Sigic Order. Here after all these years and then... He just leaves. I hope we didn't offend him somehow. Uh, Savas. What you learn here will last you a lifetime. Several, if you're talented. Indeed, Savos, but... What did the Sigic want? Beyond asking for you, he never said. Very strange indeed. Very bizarre. Um... Savos, I don't suppose you know about, uh... A rumor that I've heard while here on the grounds. Something about... The Augur of Dunlane. Has Tolfdir been telling stories again? I thought I made it quite clear that this was a subject inappropriate for conversation. Please, don't allow him to continue to discuss the subject. Ah. My apologies, Archmage. I will not bring it up again. If you'll excuse me, I'll take my leave now. Mm-hmm. Who? All right then, so... Tolfdir clearly knows more about the Augur. He might be down in, um, the Hall of the... Ah, crap, I took the wrong door again. Alright. Uh, down to the Hall of the Elements. He should be around the Eye of Magnus, I mean, he was just there. 
Toftier. Toftier? Where is he?